And you show me a play where they just physically dominated us to, you know, score a touchdown or just beat us single-handedly, then, you know, hats off to them. But I think outside of those miscommunications and tech technical errors, that's easy fix once we master and be perfect in practice. It'll be a huge, tremendous turnaround in that game. But you can't get it back. We got to move forward, and we got to just keep growing and building momentum. Too soon to even look at what the Vikings do yet, or are you still looking at the film from yesterday to figure out so you can fix it going forward? It's never too soon in this right. league, man. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of guys that I called up last night, and we was already watching the film. Mm -hmm. So guys are excited. Guys are encouraged from the loss that we suffered yesterday. It showed how good of a team we are to look at the film and say, man, you know, you're going against the number one offense in the league and you had some success and you can look at it as though, you know, Patrick Mahomes did really good, the offense did good, but when you can say to yourselves, you know, if we can have those plays back where you kind of beat, defeated yourself, then that's always encouraging. Especially when you shut them out for three quarters, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Were you kind of uh, uh, wanting to see how this team would react after a loss, whether it would be business-like or um, emotional, because it's the first time that you've gone through it with this particular group, and how do you think that the response will be? Every, everyone is positive. Every, everyone is positive, and I love it. That's what you need because you got to have a short-term memory in this league. I mean, as, especially as a defensive back, my job is, you know, someone catch the ball, you have to be right back at it. You're going to get some of the best athletes in the world. So just the way the mindset that the offense, the defense, the special teams have with moving forward and preparing for the Minnesota Vikings, it's been phenomenal. Somebody had told you before the game, you know, with McCoy and Williams, they were going to get 32 yards on 22 carries. What would, what would you have thought about your chances? Uh, I would have believed it. Yeah. <laughs> I would have believed it. That young D-line we have, Burfey in the middle, Tahir, those guys do a really good job getting to the ball. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it would have been believable. I mean, it's, it's, it's real hard in this league to, to have a success one-dimensionally. Absolutely. And, 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 you know, and it seems like run defense is a strength you guys may be able to hang your hat on. That's good. So now we know as a secondary we just have to master our techniques and fundamentals and practice knowing that we can hang our hats on the D-line and linebackers, you know, stopping the run. So now the games are going to be on us. What are your impressions of Kirk Cousins? Uh, I think he's a uh, good – Good NFL quarterback, when he's hot, he's hot. I mean, he, he can torture you, but, you know, we're going to come up with ways to try to, you know, suppress him and just try to win this game. Come out of that first stretch, you know, one and one, you learned some things, obviously, from winning that first game and controlling it the way you did. You know, are there points in the year where you look for progress reports? Uh, I guess is maybe the question. Is it after two games or four? When do you, you know, try to... <laughs> Man, in this league, it's, 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 it's out there every play you get in the progress report. I mean, I don't think no other human beings go through as much scrutiny or pro progress reports of ju or judgment than we do as athletes. And like I say, man, when you look at week one, when you look at week two, after each game is a progress report. So that's just the nature of the game. This is pretty much, un it's pretty much uncharted territory for a team to – leave the second week of the season and not come back till November mm -hmm. at their home field. I mean, how, is there, how do you approach that? Uh, we train for mentally throughout the uh, off-season training program, throughout camp. We, we, mm -hmm. we knew the schedule. Good, mm -hmm. good thing we was able to get a, get, a, get a head start on it. And we've been prepared for it. We've, we've been prepared for it, and we have made up our mind to be a great on-the-road team. And this is a great challenge to us and what this organization is trying to do moving forward. And that's build a great franchise. How do you train for that? Is it it's, it's all mindset. It's all mindset. I mean, it's almost like when you're young and you want to be an NFL player. How do you train for that? You, you work towards that goal. And we're working towards being a great, you know, on-the-road football team. I think you said yesterday that uh, for a lot of the game yesterday, the, the plan was to um, match up one-on-one -on -one against their, their speed guys. And for the most part, you felt like um, this defense did a pretty good job. That when you look back at the film, do you, do you still think that? Or you oh, absolutely. Like I say, you all can go turn on the film. When you see us in single high and we match one-on-one -on -one with those guys, we did well. But when we did a few different zone things where they kind of skinned us up to make us communicate, you know, they, they got big chunk plays. But like I say, anybody can go turn on the film and look at us going man-to-man -man with that speed that they have and they only you know scoring those big touchdowns in zone coverages and that's just something we have to get better at. so no more zone just man going for it. Uh, <laughs> we got the guys to do that I'm, i'll tell you one thing man man my guys are running the mile every day after practice man we are going to get our cardio together and we're going to go get out the people 
Hey Raider Nation, if you like that video, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of our exclusive content, behind the scenes footage and more. Go Raiders.